Thank you for checking out the library's DVD VHS dubbing unit. In this video, we'll show you how to record a VHS tape to a DVD disc. Before beginning the process, an important note is that this unit does not support DVD plus R or DVD plus RW discs. Make sure you've purchased DVD minus R or DVD minus RW discs, or the recording process will not complete. To begin, Open the two latches on the DVD VHS unit's case. Inside, you'll find a quick start guide, the unit's full operation manual, the contents list, and the unit itself. You'll also find a set of yellow, white, and red composite RCA cables, an HDMI cable, and the device's remote control. Please make sure all these pieces are present and accounted for when returning the unit. If your TV has an HDMI connection, plug one end of the included HDMI cable into the port shown here, then plug the other end into your TV's HDMI port. If you're having trouble finding the port, it's usually on the side or the rear of your television set. For older TVs, you may need to connect the RCA plugs to the ports shown here on the unit. Next, connect the other end of the cables to your television set. If you see five plugs instead of three on your television, this is what's known as component video. Plug the yellow cable into the green port and connect the red and white audio cables to their matching ports. At this point, you should also plug in the DVD VHS unit's power cable to a wall outlet. After all your connections are made, you can turn on your television, switch to the correct input, and we're ready to begin the process. If you need help selecting the input on your TV, look on your TV's remote control for a Source or Input button, or look in your TV's Owner's Manual for further information. To begin, press the Power button on the front of the unit. You should see the unit display the word Load, and the screen should turn on and display a colorful DVD backdrop, followed by a dark screen. Press the unit's Eject button to eject the DVD tray. Wait for it to completely eject before putting a disc on the tray. Place your DVD-R or DVD-RW disc on the tray, and press the Eject button again to retract the disc into the unit. Next, insert the cassette tape into the slot, and you should see a time value appear on the unit's LCD screen. Press the Setup button on the remote, pictured at the right. This will bring up an on-screen menu. When you see the menu, press the OK button to enter the General Setting menu. Now, using the remote's arrow buttons, navigate to Recording, press OK, then navigate to Dubbing Mode, and press OK again. In this small submenu, make sure that VCR to DVD is selected. Now you can press the Setup button again to exit. Changing the recording mode is optional, but for those who want more control over the quality and or duration of the video, press the remote's DVD button to switch the unit's source. You should see the indicator on the front of the unit change from VCR to DVD. The modes can be toggled using the Rec Mode button. It will cycle through the different recording modes. For a standard VHS to DVD recording, this setting doesn't need to be altered. More information regarding the recording modes and their characteristics can be found in our Quick Start Guide. On the remote, press the VCR button, once again watching for the indicator on the front of the unit to switch back to VCR from DVD. And now it's time to find the recording start point on our VHS tape. Press play on the device's remote control and you'll see video from your VHS tape appear on the screen. Using the remote's rewind and fast forward buttons, find the spot at which you want to begin recording and then press the pause button to pause it at that exact moment. When the footage is paused on the moment you want to begin, press D dubbing to begin recording. When you're done recording or the video is over, you can press the Stop button on the remote. At this point, you'll see a Writing to Disk progress bar, which will show the progress of your disk's creation. This may take longer depending on how much video you recorded 
and what video mode you selected earlier on. The last step in the process is a step called finalization. Without finalizing the disc, it will not be playable in DVD players or readable by computers. Therefore, it is very important that you complete the finalization process shown here. To start the finalization process, once again tap the Setup button to enter the main menu. Now, once again using the remote's arrow buttons, navigate to DVD Menu. In this smaller submenu, use the down arrow to go to Finalize and tap OK. Choose Yes at the prompt to begin the process. You will now see another progress bar at the bottom of your screen. Once the finalization process is done, you can eject your disc and cassette 